are on number 53. Number 53. This one is a test. What I add to number 53 is a repeat at the end of the song and a bow lift. So you need to make the last measure of number 53 look just like the last measure of number 52. Go ahead, pause the video, draw in a bow lift, just like you see in 52, and a repeat sign at the end of the song. When you're done, start the video again. But we want to add that. That's how we'll be playing it in class as well. All right, once you're done doing that, uh, we're going to start off as a whole group and we're going to do something called rocket bowing. So we're all going to hold our bows into the air and we're going to go down bow and up bow. We're going to say down up. Okay. So that's how we're going to do number 53 first. One, two, ready, go. Down up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, lift, move, set, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up down, up, down, and the song's over. Now we're all going to put the bows on our strings. We're just going to do the tipping thing. So D, D, A, 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 D, D. Okay, let's all do that one. Make sure we have a nice, beautiful bow hold, of course. Nice bent fingers, violins, violas, curved, pinky on top. Everybody, a nice bent thumb in the back. Bent thumb. Okay, none of that nonsense. Okay, bent thumb. Let the instrument do the work. Let the instrument hold your bow. Your hand should be super relaxed. One, two, ready, go. D, D, click. A, 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 click. D, D, click. A, a, click, D, 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 lift, move, set, D, D, click, A, 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 click, D, D, click, A, A, click, D, D, D. And then the song's over. Now we can switch to individual instruments. So violin first. I'm going to play it one time with the repeat and then that's it. And you can rewind the video and watch it as many times as you please. One, two, ready, and. song is good if you lift your bow off the string because it lets the note ring. It sounds all pretty versus that's gross. We don't like that. So let it ring. And you freeze your body just for a moment. All right. That's how you play it on violin. Viola's next. <clears throat> all right. Viola. We're going to play through it one time with the repeat, and then that's it. You can rewind. You can rewatch as many times as you like. So you have a nice, tall, beautiful, perfect bow hold. One, two, ready, and...
Then always on the last note when you're bowing, lift your bow off the string and let that note ring. Otherwise you get, that's kind of gross. You lift your bow. It sounds so pretty that way. All right, that's how you play it on viola. Moving on to cello. All right, cellos. As always, bring the instrument to you. Do not move yourself to the instrument. No crooked bodies because you're trying to hold the instrument straight. Body comes or the instrument comes to you. Your body is straight. The instrument is slightly crooked. It's still in between knees, but you want to make sure that it's coming to you, not you to it. Nice, beautiful bow hold, bent fingers. Let the instrument hold the bow. Let the instrument do the work. Let the bow do the work. You shouldn't be trying that hard. Remember, no pointed fingers. Pointed fingers bad. All right. All you have to do is just lift up that wrist. All right, Ray, let's play 53. I'm going to play it one time with the repeat. Then you are more than welcome to rewatch as many times as you'd like. And help yourself with it. 53, one, two, ready, and... <laughs> Anytime you're bowing, always make sure you lift the bow off the string to let the note ring. Sounds weird that way versus that's gross. Nobody wants to hear that. Let it ring. And I'm gonna play through it one more time because I messed up and that's not fair to you while I didn't mess up on the other one. So I'm gonna play it one more time so you have a great example. One, two, ready, and it help if I remember to the repeat. I'm having a hard time in cello land, apparently. Try that one more time. I'll get it this time, I swear. Two, ready, go. That's how you play on cello, for real this time. All right, moving on to bass. <clears throat> Basses. Rotate my chair. Too much. All right, bass. Remember, you're letting the bow do the work. Let the bow do the work. Tip this down just a little bit more. Let the bow do the work. It's holding the bow. Your hand is nice and relaxed. I'm only holding it right now with my thumb, the tip of my thumb, and the side of my finger. The instrument itself is holding all the weight, though. I'm only balancing it between my fingers. Okay, let the instrument hold the bow. Make sure your thumb is really bent in the back. Middle finger is like straight across from your thumb. And let's go ahead and play 53. One, two, ready, and. Thank you. 
song, I always lift my bow so the last note can ring. You like that nice ring. You don't want to end with it on bow. That's gross. Nobody likes that. Nobody wants to hear that light ring. I'm going to play through it one more time so you don't have that bell ringing during your example. One, two, ready, and... That's how you play it on bass. Hope it helps. Bye.